tonight, we're introducing you to a champion of the Latino community in Omaha. Dalia Ruvacalba founded the Therapists of Color Network to connect people with therapists who look like them. KETV Newswatch 7's Jessica Perez introduces us to her mission in this Project Community Report. At 30 years old, Dalia Rubalcaba is transitioning into the next phase of her life, opening a practice with her name on the door. She's one of few Latino or Hispanic therapists in the United States. Just having someone that understands your culture, understands your values, your language, I think that's so important. It's why she founded the Therapists of Color Network, a website meant to help people find professionals who look like them. So. That's kind of what pushed me on wanting to find, make a resource that was just accessible to everyone. It also helps educate people about mental health, something Rubalcaba is passionate about. The stigma with mental health in the Latino community is thinking that it's cosa de locos, um, you know, you don't talk about things outside of the family. Being bilingual allows her to educate her people. Speaking at events and allowing people to ask questions. She wants people to understand mental health is something you need to make time for, even if it's not sitting on a therapist's couch. You can't just do physical health um, and call it good. And encouraging people to do self-care, to, you know, really take care of their mind, have time for themselves in whatever way that looks like for them. Today, she's starting with an Omaha office, but hopes to expand to a rural area like Fremont. She says bilingual therapists aren't easy to find there. Her motivation is knowing she's making a difference. Working with clients and seeing their progress, it's it's amazing work and it's such an honor because they're the ones doing the work, but being able to walk with them through that path is so rewarding. Recently recognized as a Latina leader by the Metro Young Latino Professionals Association, she says the award is validating, but she says the credit isn't all hers. I really do owe everything, what I am to them. You know, they've put a lot of just, um, can I start that again? Yeah, I am just yeah, a loss of words with my parents. In Omaha, Jessica Perez, KTV, Newswatch 7.